I remember when I uh, said the 500 series is basically a rebrand of the 400 series. And it really is. Anyway, slice it. I think Linus Tech Tips has come out and said it. It's all over the net. And then today I see this. The RX 480 GPUs can be successfully flashed to 580 BIOSes, which is kind of, well, it's not really crazy. Several AMD RX 480 GPUs have successfully been flashed to 580 BIOS, effectively allowing updated 480 GPUs to run with enhanced clock speeds of the 580. And essentially the 580 is clocked higher and it pulls, it has a bigger power draw. It's about the big difference between a 480. So technically you could just get a 480 and not have to flash it and just overclock it, but aftermarket, you know, not the reference version. This was first done by a user from the Tech Power Ups forum called Tony Boy Joby. I could be reading that wrong. Who used a Sapphire RX 580 BIOS to update his XFX 480. XFX cards are pretty good, allowing this GPU to achieve the same clock speeds as a Sapphire model, 1400 megahertz. Uh, right now, the GPU is reportedly stable, though at this time it is unknown if the GPU's lifespan will be negatively impacted by this upgrade. I doubt it will. I mean, the only thing it's going to do is clock the card higher. It'll run a bit hotter, but if he's got an aftermarket, well, obviously it is, it's XFS. I mean, XFX GPU, so the cooling has to be better. I, I figure he'd be fine. BIOS upgrades like this are unsurprising, as AMD themselves have admitted that the RX 500 is powered by the same GPU as the RX 480, with the only changes being increased clock speeds thanks to improved manufacturing techniques. There is no guarantee that the RX 480 BIOS will flash to an RX 580, making this performance boosted BIOS update a risky process, which is always the risky process of flashing GPUs, as we all know. Uh, the best way to go about it is if you got a, uh, a GPU with two BIOSes. I don't know if there are any, but there could be for the 400 series. I haven't really looked into them because I didn't have the money, but I did have a dual BIOS on my For the Win Edition 760. So I'd imagine it's quite possible it has to be 480s with this. So that way, if you flash your GPU and let's say something goes wrong, you kind of have a safety net, you know? Up, oh, this fucked up, you know, go backwards versus, you know, a graphics card that does not have dual BIOS and it goes wrong and it bricks. And I'm pretty sure anybody who's paying attention to this already knows that. So I don't even know why I'm explaining it, but then maybe there are people who don't know, don't care. If I had the disposable income, I would totally buy a 480 simply because I know I just overclock it and get 580 performance in most cases. In many cases, I'm not saying all, there are some games where the 580 performs better than the 480, but there's a lot of instances where the 580 is like, what, five frames more, 10? A good overclocking, you're fucking there, baby. Smokey! I swear, the second I start doing audio, that's when people text me, that's when the cat opens the doors, and my house is old as fuck. It's creaky like a goddamn sci-fi horror movie house. Now this rumor for the NVIDIA front has been going on forever. Uh, not forever, for a couple days. You know how it is, Chinese sites pop up with stuff and you know I gotta take a sniff because I'm a bottom feeder. Uh, supposedly, NVIDIA is prepping for the new GeForce GTX 20 series graphics cards based on the Volta architecture, which we already know. But here's the thing, the leaks are saying Q3 2017, which doesn't seem feasible, all right? So take it as a grain of salt. Simply because the TI version of every graphics card gets one year. Not every graphics card, you know what I mean. Like the 780 Ti got a year before the 900 series came out. The 980 Ti got a year before the 10 series came out. Why the fuck is it called the 20 series? Like, wouldn't it be the 11 series? Like, why did they jump to 20? Like, really? I don't get that. Is that what's gonna happen now? Are they gonna just jump 10? numbers now like when the next cards come out it'll be the, uh, the GTX 1030 series sorry I'm having a mind fuck here there's a very interesting rumor currently making its rounds that Nvidia has pushed forward its upcoming Volta lineup the GeForce 20 series graphics for Q3 launch the rumor cites a source that WCCF Tech has used for a long time now and that's from MyDrivers.com, a Chinese publication that is fairly active in the leak scene. Most of the leaks always come from China, nine times out of 10. Some come from India. 
they're the only source right now that has come up with this rumor. So it's all we got to go on, it's all I got to go on, it's all they got to go on, so let's play with it. You know what, now that I think about it, Intel is pushing up their Skylake X chipset from August to June. I know it's not that many months, like what, two, three? But still, it shows that Intel is taking, this is their response to Ryzen. It's only a few months though, so that doesn't seem too crazy. Uh, Computex is gonna be in May 31st to June. Uh, third, if you don't know, you don't give a shit. I'm not going to Computex, I'm not big enough. I've actually had the semi-sponsors ask me if I was going to Computex, and I'm like, no, obviously not. I'm broke, hello. You wanna send me? And then they're like, you're not Dimitri from Hardware Canucks. So, case in point, Intel is responding to Ryzen. And the only real response besides pushing it up would be to, I don't know, maybe not sell the goddamn CPUs for a cool grand. You son of a bitch. We're back to the story at hand. It doesn't seem that crazy that Nvidia will push something up. Maybe, like, let's face it, Nvidia would know more about Vega than we know or the press would know at this current point in time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these motherfuckers got spies uh, all over each other. But I don't think that Nvidia would push up Volta that quickly. Wouldn't it need some more refinements and shit? But, you know, still a rumor, so let's just continue on. Forgive me for talking too much outside of that. The first thing that could be taken as a confirmation for the release of scheduling of a graphics card is its appearance on the Zavia database. Immediately after seeing this rumor, the author of this scanned the database for any entry that might appear to be Volta-based graphics cards, but was not able to find any. This doesn't necessarily disprove the rumor, Though, since NVIDIA has gotten really good at masking shipment, case in point, the Titan XP, the GTX 10 series lineup is nearing the end of its life now that the company has launched the full-blown Pascal chip in the Titan XP graphics card, as well as silently launching their super low-end GTX 1030. According to their traditional upgrade cycle, we should be seeing new cards by the end of the year or in early 2018. According to the information given from my drivers, however, this event has been pushed forward to launch sometime in the third quarter of this year. That still seems off. It'd have to be early 2018, honestly. Like, I could totally see the 1180, oh, sorry, forgot, the 2080 launching in spring of next year. I could see that. The earliest maybe January or February, but that would still not give the 1080 Ti a full year lifespan. That'd be more like six months. And I know somebody's sitting there going, well, they released the Titan XP Gundam and they only gave it that long, but then it's like, okay, fine, whatever, you know. I just figured they're, shit, they are trying to milk as much money as they can out of the 10 series now though. They're like, okay, this is over. Here's the last one, boom. The reason given behind this move is that the profits from sales were not up to expectation of the management, either due to the fact that the R&D and yield related costs were too high or that the upgrade cycle wasn't probably utilized. Therefore, the release of the GTX 20 series graphics cards is planned for Q3 2017 to fully capitalize on the lack of competitors and the increasing market share. Even if Vega launches, it is unlikely it will be able to go toe to toe with Nvidia's highest end. Well, they got no, uh, well, let's face it. I think most people are holding out for the better graphics card, you know, like for real. Nvidia, you sit there, like I have a 980 Ti. If Vega doesn't kick ass like I'm hoping it does, then my next move would have been to the, well now the 2080 Ti or something like that. I mean, why bother upgrading every generation? It's just like the only people who upgrade every generation have disposable income or they're insane Nvidia fans. And that's just about it. Like you're either one or the other. You either have no common sense or you have enough money to just fuck around with. So what does Nvidia have in store for Volta architecture? Well, fortunately, we aren't completely in the dark on this one. Apparently from what official sources have told us, a very well-known leaker from Baudu, oh, hey, these names, revealed some details about the upcoming lineup that proved to be pretty enlightening. Nvidia will be doing some basic optimizations on the SMs in the GeForce 20 series, but don't expect a complete overhaul like the one from Kepler to Maxwell. The primary Volta lineup will be divided into four main GPUs. Volta GPU 100, Enterprise HPC only, Volta GPU 104, 2070, 2080, Volta GPU 02, 102, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm like thinking Gundam. I'm like these 
the model numbers and skews are starting to like click something in my head and I'm like giving the the SKU number for the GPO2 and the GPO1 Gundams. <laughs> uh, let's see, Volta GV102 would be the 2080 Ti GTX Titan XV. Eh, I'm already tired of this. Yeah, I'm already. Like, this is just a rumor, and I'm still kind of like, eh. Another graphics card out from NVIDIA so soon. Fantastic. Like, that would be a suicide move, in my opinion. If they were to release Volta in the third quarter of 2017, Everybody that jumped on the 1080 Ti would then sit there and go, you sons of bitches, because everybody's pissed about the Titan drop. Like, this would just, this can't be real. If they do this, they're only going to piss people off, and people will probably not buy their shit on principle. I don't think NVIDIA is that dopey. I don't think they feel that they're that untouchable. But then again, before pride comes to fall, right? Eh, who cares? Whatever. I'm not getting paid. When I get paid, I'll care more. Now on that mo no, de -de 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 fuck. And on that note, I'm getting the hell out of here. You know, I'm not gonna actually give more of a fuck than me. Rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose. If not, that's totally cool for me. I'm just cutting the video here because I could sit and talk all day about speculation and graphics cards. And that's the last thing I want to do. A 30 minute video of me arguing with my fucking self. And that's the last thing anyone wants to listen to. Believe me, my cats don't. Figures you live with cats, you faggot! <laughs>